football fans and welcome to another week in the Canadian Premier League. We are live on Vancouver Island for the beginning of match week 15 and a third meeting of the season and a rematch of the 2021 Canadian Premier League final between Pacific and Forge. Pacific trying to bounce back from a nil-nil draw at York Lions Stadium in a match where there was no goal scoring to be found and James Merriman has made five changes to his team today including Amir Didich, Kunle Dadaluk, Janairo Daniels, Ayman Salouf, and Kieran Baskets. Bobby Smyrniotis makes two changes to his 11, getting Mandrakar James back from suspension. He's in the back line to line up beside Alex Ashnyoti Janssen with Garvin Matusso, the left back, Rezar Rama, the right back. Alessandro Hojabapur will hold behind Kyle Becker. And Noah Jensen, who celebrated his 24th birthday yesterday. Kwesi Poku, the second change for Smyrniotis to the left wing. Short pass from Hojabapur. Now Alex Ashnyoti Janssen. Jabrapur, diagonal ball, trying to cut out that midfield altogether. Sending Schwanier, meets it as he leaps. Poku with diving effort, and it's going to go past here in Baskets. Six minutes on the back foot, the first time into the attacking third. Schwanier makes a great effort, and Poku dives through the air and just sneaks that past the Pacific keeper. This all starts with Porto Kapoor. What a ball that he plays out wide. A little clip from Becker. Get it to the first header. All the way back to Artenner. He's out of his goal. And what is he doing out there? Aparicio goes for goal. Just sends it wide. Where Ford supporters would like to have a leash sometimes for this man. Kyle Becker ready to go. His outswinger finds Ashinyoni. Has a great reflexive save from Basket. Had to be agile, had to be nimble on his toes. And he soars to the right to deny Forge's second goal. That was a cheeky header from Alex Ashinyoni Janssen. Listed at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. local. New episode of Good Night Australia, New Zealand has dropped today as Annie Petrillo, Jordan Wilson, Jess Lacey, and Riley Foster recap Canada's nil nil draw with Nigeria last night. Available on the One Soccer platform. There goes Pacific back in the attack and Ford Yates has a go! That had some serious dip and dive to it. It is fractionally over the crossbar. Huge scoring opportunity for the Tridents. From that, though, five shots, but none on target for 31 minutes and change. Now into the box, and that dips just in front. Tristan Henry, it's more of a black with his chest than anything. As Aparicio had seen enough and decided he wanted to start asking some questions of the Forge keeper. Starting to feel some momentum build for Pacific Daniels. Still Daniels, now he shoots. And again, Pacific can't keep it down. Seven shots, and the effort from Aparicio remains the only one technically on target. Poku again. Working so well with Becker. Into the box it goes. Now it'll sit. Low shot that goes through the legs of Kieran Baskets. David Schwanier has been absolutely yeah. desperate for that goal. Just his second of the year. And every time Pacific build the momentum, put some passes together, Forge just come right on back and silence this crowd. Somehow, Alessandro Hojabapur stayed on his feet and didn't let his ankles get broken. This is the type of energy they need from Daniels. Putting his body on the line, winning fouls, keeping the pressure forward. And the final moments of the half hurt. It's going to sit. Touse. Cedric Touse fouls. He wanted far post. Didn't miss it by much. And that was indeed the final action of the first half here. 
You would expect both teams to need a few minutes to grow back in, but maybe opportunities as a result. And go heads it down around James. It's an opening. He makes it over top of Tristan Henry. And Alex Ashenyoti Janssen has to scurry to the goal line. Couldn't have asked for much more. Yates bouncing off of Jabrapur. On the edge of the attacking third, still with the ball at his feet. Out to Dadalu. Takes a touch to settle it down and go again. Directly into the turf at his feet with another golden opportunity. That's two now in the first five minutes of his day. Henry has to be agile as I'll get out to see around. He's basically 10 batters in front of him. Here's Salou goes low. He's going to skip to Aparicio's second effort. Trying to use that same screen, but can't find frame. Campbell chests it down, somehow sneaks that through Amir Dinich. The defense on, the Pacific up, defender up, out for a corner kick. That was slippery from Taron Campbell. What a turn this is, but Taron Campbell. All these corners, the Pacific's got to get something out of it. Salov, great fake, puts one on skates. Now he can cross in, just over the head of Ungaro. Brazil turning, firing, and hitting Dinich in the face. Now two Saints. And wide in the end. <laughs> Aparicio accelerates, shoots, what a stop from Henry. And made sure that was going behind the net instead of in it. My goodness, he gets so much speed off this ball. Basket makes the leap and catch just about out of time. In fact, we are out of time. For the third time this year, Pacific and Forge go head to head. And the away team not only wins, but records a clean sheet in the process. Tristan Henry will get his league leading now fifth clean sheet of the season, tying him with Ryan Yesley, adding to his CPL record. And Forge move to the top of the table, level on points with Pacific after a 2-0 win in Langford.